Hey guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And today is a pu public service announcement, <laughs> sort of. Um, so this is an issue that's been going around for, I don't know, as long as I've been using a Wacom tablet for. Yeah. This is not just an issue with Intuos, it's also an, in an issue with the Cintiqs. Um, I don't know if Bamboos have this issue as well, but it's, it's sort of like a collection of, of issues that we found over the years, and then we're trying to distill it into one video. So... The, the thing that it comes down to is, is Windows Ink. Windows Ink is most often the issue that's causing all of this. This is because Windows made some, or Microsoft made some changes to the Windows Ink drivers in Windows mm. 10, I believe, as well. So it tends to mess up uh, pressure sensitivity. People have issues with lag. People have issues with uh, the canvas in Photoshop not wanting, th you can't draw up and down. You can only mm. draw left to right. So there are a bunch of issues that, that this video should hopefully cover. And I mean, if you have any other issues, feel free to comment down below as well. <laughs> so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to create a new file. Like, it's actually a very simple solution. So right now, like here in Photoshop, I, I've already fixed all the things. So sometimes you might not have issues because of the drivers, your Wacom drivers are up to date, the Windows drivers, you have just the correct drivers, mm. but that doesn't apply for everyone. So the first thing you want to do is just go to your desktop and create a new text document. And now this text document, we want to call it PS user config. We're going to be putting all, all this in the description as well. Mm -hmm. So you can just copy paste stuff. You don't have to actually read what, <laughs> no. what, what the video says. So we have this PS user config and into that file, we simply write uh, use system stylus zero. And then we save that again. So Right up, like normally Photoshop and uh, Paint Tool Sci, I guess maybe Paint as well, mm. uh, rely on the Windows Ink drivers uh, to paint or for pressure sensitivity. But um, recently what people have started doing is turning off Windows Ink, but then they run into the issue that now they no longer have pressure sensitivity. So you want to override that sort of with, with sort of a custom configuration file for Photoshop. So after that, then we go to a secret little folder. So if you go under your user and find a user, your app data, now this folder might be hidden for you. So if you just go to view and say hidden items, you should see this folder again. And we go to roaming, Adobe, and then you find your version of Photoshop that you're using. So this is CC 2017 for me. This could be CC 2018. You go to your settings and in this folder, we just drag and drop the file that we just created. There you go. So this is just going to overwrite whatever Windows Ink settings you might have enabled. So actually, this will now work with even if Windows Ink is enabled. Let's just restart Photoshop. You have to restart in order for these changes to take effect. It's such an annoying issue. Yeah, it really is. This this kind of stuff should just be working. Windows Ink is is like a plague. I don't <laughs> want anything. When, when it comes to a tablet, you want. You, I just want a tablet. I don't want any touch. I don't want any buttons. The first thing I do is disable all the buttons on the <laughs> tablet and just destroy everything. I just want pen pressure on my tablet. So now with that fixed, we get all that nice stuff here. But you now might run into the issue of Windows Ink is still enabled mm. and that gives you clicky stuff and graphical things that you might not want. Yeah. So you can turn that off. And even when you turn that off, the problem that people were having before is when you turned it off, you lost pressure sensitivity in Photoshop. But because you've made your custom config file, that's all fixed. So that's super nice. So mm. in order to turn off Windows Ink, if you're on Intuos, that's under mapping. And if you're on a Cintiq, that's under calibrate. Now, the next thing you can do is in Paint Tool Sci, Paint Tool Sci thing, yeah, you might have the issue that uh, you can even have this issue in Photoshop that you're drawing and you want to do something super smooth, but all of a sudden the Wacom tablet decides to click and then you end up with a break in your line, which can be super annoying. Mm. So if you go under the pen, so if you have multiple pens, just select the pen you're using and set the uh, tip double click distance to off. That should hopefully fix that issue. But, you know, the Windows Ink and custom config file is really the, the most important here. Now, if you're still having some issues, what you can do 
is you can go under the pen settings. Now, this is usually what I do is I just turn off all of these things and everything that has to do with Windows Ink just because I really don't like that feature. Yeah, I recommend doing this anyway. Like yeah. Just regardless <laughs> of if it's working or not, just disable everything here. And now you can see we have no graphical weird things happening and everything in Photoshop and hopefully Paint Tool should be working as well. Mm. And that's really all you should do. So we will leave a description of all this in the yeah. description for you so you can follow along in the text. But uh, yeah, I, I hope this hope this fixes everyone's issues. Yeah, I hope your frustration level goes down because <laughs> this here is like I've lost days of work because of this kind yeah, of stuff. Really lost hair and it's pretty bad. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, guys.